What's up, JD Aliens? Welcome back. And for those of you who are new to the channel, hey, I know you came to see this bag, but you're going to keep coming back for the party because it's on and popping on this channel, man. A little bit of housekeeping first. I got two other channels, so make sure you click on those and follow those as well. Also, follow me on social media because I'm on social media too. But check this out, man. A couple of weeks ago, there was this tiny, small convention with just a handful of people and it was called CES, the Consumer Electronics Show. You know, you might have heard of it. I don't know. It's a small thing that people do once a year in Vegas. So LG invited me out and they said, okay, we're gonna fly you out through Spirit Airlines. And I was like, ooh, I've never flown Spirit before and I don't wanna check my luggage. So this is my opportunity to learn how to pack like a minimalist. I was there for two days. I don't need that much gear, don't need that much clothes. What kind of bag would help me out to just do the minimalist thing without having to check my bag. And then I looked at Spirit and they charge you for everything. I mean, everything, snacks and everything. So if you put a bag in the overhead compartment, it's like 47 bucks. But if you have a backpack, it's free. As long as it meets the backpack measurements and weight, it's free. So I was like, ooh, where can I find a bag that could suit those needs? So, you know, I really like Thule's bags, man. I love them. So that was my first stop. So I looked on their website and I found this big bad Mamma Gemma or little medium sized Mamma Gemma, which is the Subterra Carry-On Convertible. We'll talk about this convertible part in just a moment, but it's 40 liters. And I knew that I could stuff everything I needed into 40 liters. So I'm gonna show you how I did that because I want you to see what you can actually pack in this bag. And you gotta take into consideration I was going on a trip where I had to be a videographer and kind of a tourist. So it was like minimalist on both sides. So everything I'm packing in this bag was suited for my specific trip. Uh, your trip might be a little bit different and you might use this bag in a different way, but let me show you how I used it for my own personal needs. This bag has some cool features, man, and I can't wait to show you. So let's just dig into it. Let's do it. So first of all, the form factor, this bag is just, it's like, it's just so simple and beautiful at the same time. It's like the Sandra Bullock of bags. <laughs> it's just simple <laughs> and beautiful. So you got this handle on the top and this is the bag right here. And this is the back of it. That's the end. You got a pull, pull strap right here, which is very durable. You can just sling this thing around any which way, but there's more. You got one on this side too. So yeah, you got two of these bad boys. You can just try to pull it if you want, but it ain't coming off. Then you got one on the top nothing on the bottom right you got these little hooks where you can hook in your your shoulder strap that is included so got your nice little shoulder strap right here which is a nice thing to have and it's, it's padded nicely and it's contoured in one direction that way you can kind of clip it any way you want and you can have it hanging over the shoulder on this side or you can turn it around and it'll contour to the other side so that's nice and it has these really great plastic swivel hooks which is nice because on a carrying strap man like yeah, they get all twisted up and stuff and I'm just OCD about stuff. Don't want none of that in my life. Let's go to some details. All the zippers look like this. Get in here, man. I need you to see this. All the zippers look like this. I don't know if they're YKK or not. I can't see that, but they got Thule branding right there and a nice pull tab. I think that's like some kind of silicone or neoprene uh, attached to the metal right there. And all the zippers are just nice and smooth and they just shut. The ones on the main compartment actually have little holes in them so you can lock them. They are lockable. That way nobody's messing with your gear while you're carrying this thing or while you're putting it off to the side. Now on the top pocket, you can see it right here, right at the top of the bag. Let's just open it up and it doesn't open to expose like everything in your bag. It just kind of peels back just enough so you can see your goodies. Right here, you can see I got a battery charger in there. Back up, man, back up. You need to see all this. So right there, I got a battery charger in there just to kind of show you things that you can fit in there and you know you just have that in there loose you also have a key lanyard right here which you could actually use this for anything but it's just nice to have that way you have quick access to things and they don't get lost in the bottom in here you can see my hand going in here it's not a full hand length well maybe it is it's a full hand length deep but that's how much space you have and you can actually fatten it up pretty good provided you don't overstuff the main compartment of the bag then we got a big wide open mesh pocket with a felt backing so you can actually put like your phone in here uh man you could probably fit a small tablet too like a seven inch or something like that it's a big pocket and it's mesh so it's breathable but it's super soft on the inside let's close that back up we'll keep my battery pack over here to the side and then we will go to the other pocket which is a pocket if you want it to be but it's actually a shoe compartment now on my specific trip 
I did not need another pair of shoes. I'm smart. I packed outfits that went with the single pair of shoes that I took. So I had them on my feet. This is a shoe compartment. So if you're packing, you can put your shoes in here and it'll fit. I'm a size 12. It'll fit uh, one size 12 uh, shoe. If you're wearing boots, you're going to have to fold them over a little bit, but it will fit and it will travel nicely. The pocket is deep enough for a 12, uh, a men's 12 boot or a, or a mid-rise boot, I should say, not those high rises, but like a mid-rise boot or definitely a pair of tennis shoes or like Converse or something like that, definitely with, with room to spare. So let's just zip that back up and then we will get into the pocket that is the star of the show. So let's just unzip it from both sides because you have two zippers and we'll just let the top of it fold down. There's no pocket or anything right here. It's just a solid surface, uh, but we'll get to that side in just a moment. Let's bring this side up right here. You got this mesh uh fold right here this just this mesh top piece that just keeps everything in the bag as you open it that way all your goodies don't come just spilling out when you open up the bag then we got these two zippers right here same quality as the other zippers just different uh pull tabs these are uh just some nylon string pull tabs right here open that mesh uh lining up and then you see all my stuff. Look at my stuff, man. You get to see my stuff. So this is literally what I packed at CES for a two and a half day trip. So I got my gimbal here. I got all my components to the Ronin SC. Then I have my monopod right here. And here are the legs. These are the legs to my monopod. So let's just screw that on so I can put it away. And then we have the ball head to my monopod. Let's just put that back. And now we get to the Tuli Subterra toiletry bag. I've done a uh, kind of a review on this bag right here, this uh, toiletry bag. Love this thing, man. It's awesome. It just unfolds like that. Nice yellow lining. Everything's like perfect for what you need. You got like a, a wet compartment here. This is actually, it's mesh, but it's actually a plastic lining, so it, nothing gets out. So if you put some shampoo or something in there, it's not gonna spill out and get on all your gear. This is actually a breathable mesh. So you can put your toothbrush back there. This is a breathable mesh too. This is all like, this is perfect for me when I travel. I got my toothbrush, toothpaste, everything I need fits in here. And then it folds up into this nice, handsome little bag right here. But we're not here for this bag. This was just a bonus for you to see. Let's put that down. Let's get back into the main compartment of this convertible right here. So this is my secret. You wanna know how I pack, man, and how I'm able to stuff so much stuff in a bag. First of all, I'm former military. Yes, US Marines, baby. Hoorah! But my other secret is packing cubes. Let's put this to the side a little bit and I'll show you that I have two complete outfits in here. Well, not complete. I didn't put my chonies in here. Chonies is Spanish for draws for y'all who don't know. So I just have the uh, my two shirts, which are thick shirts. This is a hoodie right here. It's a pretty thick one because it was actually pretty cold in Vegas. Uh, and this is another thick hoodie. And then I got two pair of blue jeans that actually fit in here. And as you can see, yes, I could lay out two pair of socks and three pair of underwear because that's how I pack, man. When you pack, you better bring at least one extra pair of underwear. I ain't never had to use them before, but God forbid if I do. <laughs> you get someplace and you start drinking water and eating spicy foods and yeah, you, yeah, we don't want to get into that, but let's get back to this bag. So here's where I packed my camera gear. This is a, a Timba bag that I use for my camera gear, and we're going to keep this one here after we get done opening it, but I'll show you what's in it. There's not really much in it right now because the equipment that I was uh, taking with me, I'm actually recording on right now. So I would put my camera right there. It's the A6400, my boom mic right there, or my shotgun mic. Then I put this on top, got some extra batteries and an extra lens that I would use. Boom, and this closes up. And I'm gonna put this to the side because we're gonna use it again in just a second because I got some more stuff to show you. Now we get to see, this is that top portion of the bag. You can see how big it is. It's just sitting right here doing this thing. Is that too bright for you, man? Let me let me decrease that ISO just a little bit. All right, and then we have that shoe compartment so you can see how big it is. And yes, once again, you can fit one full size or a 12 men's shoe in there or like a pair of boots, like a mid-rise boot, you know, tall cowboy boots ain't gonna fit. But you got plenty of space in this 40 liter compartment right here, this is awesome. So let's close that up. So right here, you got this pass-through for your, um, for your trap, like if you were traveling with a roll-on or a roller bag, you could actually pass through that handle there and have this sitting up there just like this uh, with the handle attached. But in here, can you see that in there? There's a zipper in there because 
it's a secret compartment where you can stash your goodies, man. You can stash your passport in there or some candy if you don't want to share. You don't want people seeing your stuff. So, yeah, let's zip that back up. And we'll get to this other part of the bag, which is very impressive, man. Very, very impressive. So, if you just look at how thick this is, it's, it's, it's on the thick side, man. Because in here, they have provided you with an additional bag. Let's put this one down just for a second. This right here, my friends, is a laptop bag, which will fit, I know a 15 inch laptop, but I'm thinking it could fit a 17 inch laptop because it is massive. It's, it's, it's pretty big, man. Matter of fact, let me get my laptop, that way you can see. So this is a 15 inch laptop right here. You can see it clearly fits here with no problems. Let's just go ahead and slide it in. Let's open it up. And we will slide this laptop inside the bag and you can see I got plenty of room. So you might be able to squeeze a 17 in here, but it definitely fits a 15 for sure. Let's take a tour around the bag and see some of the pockets. Wow, we got a lot of stuff in here, man. Once again, this comes with the with the main bag. This is like a $50 value right here. So man, tons of value in this bag. As you open up this front flap, it doesn't really open all the way. You see it kind of just has that uh, part right there. So you kind of just peel it back and you got this mesh pocket right here, which you could put like a battery charger and then it has a power pass through right there and you can wire it and route your wires down to your phone or whatever have you got some pen pockets there you got three of them another full size pocket right there that fits all my fingers and i got some pretty decently big hands this one is a big one for a phone or whatever and you got this main compartment right here which is super big now as we get into the inside you got your main laptop compartment and then you got a tablet uh, pocket right here so here's my 10 inch galaxy tab s4 yes it does fit and i'm pretty sure there's a 10 inch tablet man so you can fit that in there let me see if it'll fit portrait style yes it will fit portrait style so either way you slice it you can fit a 10 inch tablet in there so that's clutch and last but not least we have this handle right here. So this handle is the same kind of handle you find on the main bag and then you have your two little loops for your carrying strap, which actually comes from the main bag. So once you get your life together in your hotel room and it's time to walk out on the streets, just slide all your gear in there, clip on these two hooks, then you can strap this around your body like this and you can just walk out on the town and you got your bag with you right there. But what if you did want to pack around a lot of gear, not just a laptop? You don't have to use this as a, a hand carry or a duffel bag. It has another little secret to it, man. This thing's got all kinds of secrets. On the back side of the bag, you just open up this right here and then you've got, what? What? Oh my goodness, yes. Tui has thought of everything. So you just pull out these backpack straps and it, as you can see right here, it's got a chest strap. So you just pull those out and you hook them on the sides. Let me go ahead and do that for you right now. You just hook them right there where the uh, shoulder strap used to be. And now you have a backpack that is so clutch. Now, when you got all your gear that you want to pack around with you, I know you can barely hear me, but you get the picture. Check out that bag, man. It's a full size backpack on your back and you can just walk around with it just like such because Tui thought of everything when it came to this bag. But here's the thing. You got a 40 liter backpack, a 40 liter travel carry on slash duffel bag. And then you have a, uh, a laptop bag all built into one because all that stuff was in this bag. You just saw it. My case was a little bit different. Hold up. Let me change my lighting back. Ah, that's much better. So yeah, this bag right here is perfect for the traveler who just wants to pack for maybe two or three days. And uh, you know, then you might want to pull out that laptop case and walk around with that. Or you can just use this as a backpack, but you've got a lot of stuff built into this thing. So there's a ton of value here. My case was a little different. So what I did was I needed a small backpack that I could, like a real backpack that I could just kind of slide in there. So what I did was I looked on Tuli's website and I found a, a, a smaller bag, man. And it's pretty awesome, man. It's the Thule Light Dose. So it actually fits in this same compartment where the laptop bag lives. So if I open this up just like that, I can take this backpack, slide it in there just like that because it's the perfect size. If you just want to slide it in there just like that, it will zip up and it will travel and carry, man. So I personally decided to purchase another backpack uh, just to put in this compartment because once I got to my hotel, I needed to transfer all of my gear, put that back there, 
to this Lithos backpack. It's kind of a small bag and it's very thin and it's very light and it's basically for like a commuter. You know, somebody who doesn't take a lot of things with them every day. I'll just show you the bag and then I'll show you how I loaded it up. So you can see right there, it has that, that signature buckle, man. I don't know what they call that, but I freaking love it, man. Look at that buckle. So you open that up just like that and then it's just a big open compartment, but you do have, what, oh, what's this? Oh, this is all my stuff that I use at CES. Okay, so you got this mess pouch right here. Here. It's a mesh pouch or a mesh compartment. And that's where I had all of my like daily stuff that like my so uh, hand sanitizer, chapstick and beard stuff and gum and stuff. Keep some gum on you, dude. If somebody offers you some gum, take it. And then you have a laptop compartment, which will hold a 15 inch laptop and a 10 inch tablet. And that's pretty much it for the inside of the bag. It's, it's kind of, it's got a big open mouth that we can slide everything in. It has one water bottle pocket right here that will fit a full size water bottle. However, remember it does poke into the inside of the bag if uh, you got a bigger water bottle, but it's designed to hold a full size water bottle with no problem. Now on this side, you have a zippered pocket, which is where I actually kept my business cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep those in there because I'm not done using this bag on a daily basis because I love it so much. But this bag fit perfectly in, and this is it for the bag. I mean, it's got nice padding, uh, nice straps right here that are padded very well. So it's great for a commuter. But this is how I packed it up. Remember how I told you I had everything in this little Timba uh, camera case right here? Well, my whole setup was in here. So what I did was I measured it and it fits perfectly inside of the Lithos bag. So all I had to do was just stuff it all the way to the bottom and then I turned it into a camera bag. It was like the perfect camera bag. And then I just put my gimbal on the top and I walked around CES with this very inconspicuous bag because it just looked like this the whole time on my back. And I'm a larger guy, it's a smaller backpack, but it just looks so inconspicuous and that's what I really, really like about it. It's because when you're a tech guy and you walk around with like $2,000 worth of camera gear, you don't wanna be advertising, hey, I got a camera bag with two Gs worth of stuff in here so you can beat me over the back of the head and rip my bag off. So that's why I chose this bag and it fit perfectly inside of the convertible. But, I ain't no expert in this kind of stuff. I just like going places and I like bags. I got a real problem. I'm what they call a bag whore. Yes, it's a thing. So hashtag bag whore in the comment section if you enjoyed this video, along with those emoji hands, man. And be sure to follow me on all my social media and stuff and my other two channels. I hope you guys had a great time checking out Tuli stuff with me. I sure did, man. And I hope y'all keep coming back to the party. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. So y'all stay classy and I'll see y'all at the next one. Oh, so you want of them cats they like to just run up in a place take what you want then leave huh man you better hit that subscribe and notification button that way you know when i'm over here opening up new stuff and while you're down there you might want to consider tapping that uh join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks see that wasn't so bad all right man i appreciate you and i'll see you at the next one Is that why you are here?